Hello everyone, I know many people are struggling to like come up with emblem sets for their heroes or whatever role they're playing or especially if they're playing a new role and they don't really know what to put on it so here i've come with a video on giving you good examples on what i would think would be great emblem sets to use for every single role in the game and i'll explain you know a few outlier situations and scenarios that come to mind as well first off with the common emblem i would only really use this with alice i think i've said many times before if you wanted something good for her it would be like movement speed and festival of blood or tenacity whichever one you want to be tanky the third one i would go brave smite maybe for that bonus healing maybe impure rage for more mana regen one of those two now that's only because she's like one of the outliers for example now for tank emblem or tank role in general roam let's start with setting tanks something like kaja or franco i would recommend going support emblem with this setup where you have movement speed tier one cdr for your flickers tier two and bonus damage for your allies tier three now support emblem because it gives you six percent move speed then you get bonus three five percent move speed with this one so it's 11 percent move speed that's a lot especially for a you know a tank they have to chase them down or flick your combo in pull them back out get shorter cooldown as well this could also work for supporting roams that are healing related i would say you could go this exact same setup with like an estes or a florin uh, if you want to you know support and whatnot you don't really need too many tanky ones on those now for tanky roams i would say go the tank emblem i would still run the same talents though now you do have the hp option and the stay and whatnot but then you especially will need that movement speed to rotate quite fast this would also help you you know support uh for your engages and whatnot support your engages faster spells coming back cool for a flicker ult delete the flicker ult middle flicker ult that kind of stuff then honestly obviously this you could opt in for a brace might instead instead of the focusing mark it's kind of preference and your choice brace might can really help you sustain in the middle of a fight i would say only really use brace might if you're a tank that can be in a fight without their ultimate this is only really limited to tanks like kufra whose first skill and second skill is still very useful on their own minotaur who can keep going back in with his knockup i wouldn't say for like lolita because her skills are very long cooldowns this only works on skills by the way not just normal hits so your skills have to have shorter cooldowns as well assassin emblem so assassin emblem already has three base move speed and a bunch of penetration so you don't always have to go for the bonus move speed you could go for but if you're not going for the bonus move speed for general assassins i suggest going rupture for adaptive penetration never go for adaptive attack now if you don't know what adaptive penetration is that means it will be penetration for both either physical or magic whichever one you have more of as for tier two you could either go master assassin for bonus damage to single targets or you could go bargain hunter for faster items faster damage what that kind of stuff or pull yourself together if you're an assassin that relies on your spells like kadita petri engage kind of thing really you know you understand what i'm saying i wouldn't say go tenacity this is this is right here this is a pretty decent setup instead of killing spree i would maybe even go lethal ignition if you're a fast combo damage assassin if you want that little bit of extra damage from lethal ignition to try and burst your enemies this is also really solid so so far we have support emblem you know with this kind of setup right here faster move speed faster engages tank emblem also a bit of move speed bonus damage you get your flickers back fast Faster. assassin big damage don't need too much move speed you're going to be bush camping or being jumping in that kind of stuff mage emblem mage emblem really is not that great mages most of the time will typically go for an assassin emblem but some mages will use mage emblem that don't need the movement speed and they need the cdr and a bit of magic power so this could be include if not limited to harith and novaria i've tried this setup with novaria going cdr mystery bargain hunter and impure rage i would say for other mages like a harith i would also go something similar except maybe tier two you could go for spell vamp if you want or extra tankiness with tenacity i would say this is pretty solid though on its own impure age really only for mages that need the mana regen if you're a mage that has an easy combo and doesn't have too many issues with mana which is very few mages i can't even think of one you could go lethal ignition but otherwise this right here pretty good mage setup for mages that don't need the movement speed and can utilize cdr quite well as for fighters i would say you would go either agility or rupture Sure, depending on the fighter that you're playing if you're playing a fighter that is very mobile doesn't need too much move speed has enough dashes or they have cc which can lock down the enemies you could go for rupture or agility a tier two i would go for either festival of blood or pull yourself together depending on the kind of fighter you're playing or even tenacity and then again it's like i would think this right here is a pretty solid fighter emblem setup right here movement speed sustain sustain brace might another one you could try to use if you're a fighter with a really heavy damage engage you could go the assassin emblem but
but still have the same setup with uh, movement speed and sustain. I use this on Lapu Lapu, although I go this on Lapu Lapu with the Assassin Emblem because I get a lot of penetration, but I also have to sustain items as well from right here. So if you're a damage oriented fighter, you could go for this. If you're a tanky ish fighter who relies more on being sustainy, being more frontline like Teresa Thamus, you could do the same thing with either of those, but just go for the fighter emblem so you get that bonus spell vamp, adaptive attack, and hybrid defense. Damage supports, kind of similar assassin emblem, bush camping supports, you know, high and dry, that sort of thing. And now for marksman. Marksman, you could be quite flexible with what you go. I would say you could go either assassin or attack speed or marksman emblem. Depending on which one you think you need, I think for a marksman like Brody, you would go for assassin emblem since you're mostly skill damage and you're not really too much attack speed. For a marksman like Claude, I would suggest also going assassin honestly because you need the move speed you get enough attack speed from dhs and whatnot uh for marksons like i mean beatrix is the same situation you want the penetration that's a lot of your damage now for marksons who are heavily reliant on crit damage uh mia leslie layla irithel you know the actual marksman emblem is a much better option to go and your first tier talent for crit marksman obviously are going to be fatal bonus crit damage and whatnot this one's kind of debatable you could go weapon master i would say actually on crit marksman you don't want to go weapon master because crit items do not get a lot of damage i would say you'd much rather go either tenacity to be tanky so you can actually scale to get your items because the thing with um crit marksman is that they do not little to no damage in the early game and they need to scale and they need to get past that scaling phase into you know your scaling part where you have your items so i think tenacity would be quite well with the, do quite well with those kind of marksmen i run tenacity a lot a lot, a lot of my marksmen now recently because it's quite quite nice or you could run um bargain hunter so you can try to get those items faster really i think only these two would, is what you should run in crit marksman not so much those now for the damage marksmen who are just pure damage reliant like brody beatrix beatrix you could definitely run weapon master because those heroes build like pure damage not really crit the hard damage items bod hunter strike that kind of stuff as for tier three for crit marksmen i would say almost always go weakest finder the only one i can think of that's good with quantum charge is irithel now this is preference i do believe weakest finder is just the best unanimously but if you have a struggle laning and you want that bit of regen or mobility go with quantum charge go right ahead now if you are very confident in your abilities to carry and you get fed often quite early you could run killing spree but killing spree is a more high risk high reward uh higher risk because if you don't get kills this is useless and high reward where you can snowball that kind of stuff but for me personally i'd rather just run weakness finder that's my personal favorite in terms of crit marksman damage marksman you definitely don't want to run weakness finder because you know damage marksman aren't too much attack speed Beatrix, although she does have high attack speed, Beatrixes typically do do a lot of damage or they do snowball and they will shred people. So you're better off going killing spree for that snowball that snowball intention. For Brody or other similar damage marksman, I can't think of more. You could run lethal ignition or killing spree. Lethal ignition because Brody first skill auto. Big damage, it will proc lethal ignition. Uh, what other damage marksman? I mean, Beatrix will not really proc lethal ignition. All her damage is like little bits. Maybe with sniper shots, that's the only one I can think of. Best off probably is going killing spree. So I would say damage marksman, this would kind of be a nice setup right here. I would say this would be like a nice setup for damage marksman on the assassin emblem. Pure damage marksman. Marksman. I would say this would be good or this one of these two for crit marksman I would say going this would be something ideal or maybe like one of these two you know so I'll go over them all right now again once more uh damage assassins you know this is fine one of these two that damage assassins Tanky supports, tanky engages right here, these three. Uh, mages that rely on CD, that need CDR, they don't need mobility, this right here. Fighters that are big sustain, big tank, use the fire emblem. If not, use this exact setup on assassin emblem. Roam supports engages that aren't supposed to be too tanky, but they're still tank and their kit are mostly for what they're engaging for. Franco Kaja, use this right here. Crit marksman, and then, you know, if you use this, but with these two on the assassin emblem, or damage marksman. Anywho, I hope this helped you all out and I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys are still confused or still don't know what to do, you can ask me on my stream. I stream every day around the mornings of CST time in the US. That's like a evening-ish, midnight-ish, you know, across in Asia. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. All that good stuff. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>